you most probably know what are Proxmox and DigitalOcean. But in case you are not familiar with them, Proxmox is a virtualization platform that can divide your physical server into virtual machines. And DigitalOcean is a cloud infrastructure provider that you can rent your virtual machines storage infrastructure from them. Today we will learn how we can migrate an image from Proxmox to DigitalOcean. We will learn how we can get the idea of a virtual machine that we want to migrate, how to convert to an uh, acceptable format for DigitalOcean, how to copy to your local computer if you are using Mac, Linux or Windows, how to upload your custom image by logging to DigitalOcean, select images, custom image and upload, and finally how to start a droplet. So let's get started. First step is to get the idea of the virtual machine that you want to migrate. Each virtual machine that you are creating in the Proxmox has an ID. So just remember that. Step two is to log into your Proxmox shell, SSH to the Proxmox. If you are in Linux or Mac, you can use the SSH command. And if you are in the Windows, you can use PuTTY, P -U -T -T -Y, to SSH to your server. Uh, all images are saving in folder dev pve. So if I go to dev, dev pve and if I list down, you can see all the virtual machines are here. And I want to convert this uh, virtual machine. It's a uh, VCBox is a VC dial platform that we want to install it in the next videos in a digital ocean. But it can be any image. It can be Windows, Linux, or any other image. So in order to convert uh, this format, because by default DigitalOcean is not accepting this format, you need to use a command uh, QEMU-IMG convert. This is the format that is acceptable for the DigitalOcean. We specify the VM that we want to uh, convert and where we want to save it. You can save it anywhere that you have space. Here I have a space in USR local SRC. And this is the name of the image that I want to upload as a custom in a image into the DigitalOcean. So run the command, convert it to an uh, acceptable format for DigitalOcean. Based on the size of your image, it will take some time. Please keep in mind that when you want to create a droplet in the DigitalOcean, uh, you need to select this space, disk space. So when you are creating a virtual machine here, don't allocate a lot of disk space because then you need to create a uh, more expensive image in DigitalOcean as well. So it is converted and now it is in CD USR local SRC. And if I go there, I can see the uh, VisaVox stand. Next step is to uh, copy this uh, image into your local disk because you want to upload in the next step in the digital ocean. If you are using a Mac or Linux, of course, you can use the uh, SCP command. And if you are using a Windows, you can download WinSCP software from the internet and enter the IP address and use the password of your Proxmox server and download the image. Here I'm using Mac, so I can use SCP. In order to do that, I will open a terminal uh, and I can use SCP command. First, I will go to my desktop because I want to copy there. SCP, your uh, IP address of Proxmox. Here I'm using hostname, so I can use the uh, hostname instead of IP address. USR, local, SRC, and the name of the image. And we want to copy here with entering dot. Dot means copied in the current directory. And what is the size? The size of my image is about uh, 3 gigabytes, so it will take a time. I will stop the video and I will back when the and uh, download is done. You can see the progress here as well in your terminal if you are using SCP. Okay, the uh, image is downloaded. Next step is to go to the DigitalOcean, log into your account, 
select images and then custom images here is where you can upload your custom image the one that we just converted so you can uh, use upload and select your uh, file for example here is my file vc box and then select it here you can give it a name uh, select by default which uh, zone which region you want to uh, create this add a tag and add sub notes and upload because it, it may take time I have already uploaded the uh, same image here and after you have uploaded you can just click create a start a droplet when you are starting a droplet it will use the custom image that we have uploaded and you can select the uh, image that you want to uh, the plan that you want to run pay attention the disk space is very important when I told you in the previous step because here for example when I wanted to create my image I just gave it about 20 gigabyte of disk space so now I can select this one but for example if I have located uh, for example 40 gigabyte I couldn't select this 7 USD per month I needed to select at least this 14 USD so that's the point that you need to take care the others are like the um, normal uh, digital ocean you can add the SSH keys and also you can uh, give it a tag for example here I'm using VCbox tag VCbox 10 as my tag and uh, create droplet uh, as you can see the droplet is creating and based on the uh, based on the image that I have created thank you uh, for watching this video if you have any question you can put into the comments and uh, hit the like button if you like it thank you